All right, the last of the cross epic ride line evolutions is here, so let's begin. But first, parts for the last few days. So first, we start with a Stokia Double Rare Tier Knight Aerocliss, Grade 1 AK Power and Skillless. Auto, when placed on rear guard, if your vanguard is Aqua Force, cost this card to card from your hand, search your deck or drop zone for up to one Blue Storm or Modded card, reveal it, and put it to your hand, and of course, shuffle your deck if you search from your deck. So basically, another way to be able to search for your consistency card. And one nice thing is that you could discard the target that you want to use for Blue Storm Armada, because Blue Storm Armada can call out a card from the drop zone, which could be your discard card. So yeah, overall, this is actually pretty decent for the deck. Next up, Brand Gate Double Rare, Fulfiller of Spherical Harmony, which is a great one with Cape Power and the skill is auto. When retired from Guardian, cost Soul Lost 1, call this to a back row rear guard as Ress. This is an okay skill, but the main one is the second one, where auto rear guard. At the end of this unit boosts, if your vanguard is grade 4 greater, Cost, put this to soul, choose one of your units, and it gets a spiky power into the turn. So you can use this with the prison deck with Sarah Pier Light or Messiah or premium decks because grade 4 greater basically. What's nice about this skill is that it goes to soul, which can feel soul mainly for Messiah because Messiah needs the soul for its draw power. And at the same time, sometimes you want to clear up your board so you can call more cards as locked. Just saying. So this is actually pretty decent and it's definitely cheaper than Mikani. And now to the Tuesday stream itself. First up, we're gonna start off with the Dragon Empire Generic Order Engine. We start off with Beat Up Draco Kid, which is a great one with key power and the skills. Count Rear Guard, if you play a normal order this turn, this card goes 5k, with the second skill auto when placed on Rear Guard, cause Count Blast 1, search your deck or drop some for up to a serious fight, reveal it and put it to your hand, if you search your deck, of course shuffle it. In which a serious fight is a grade 2 normal order with the skill of, you play it by Soul Blasting 1, and then choose one of your opponent's front row rear guards and retire it. At the end of the turn, you can discard a card from your hand, choose a copy of itself from the drop zone, and put it back to your hand. Basically a generic retire engine that you can use, but if I'm going to be very honest, there's better options than this. And if you want budget option, there are Eugene cards that you can technically use over this. Because I'm going to be very honest, there are some cards that are designed for Eugene that are still generic for every Dragon Empire deck, and they can still retire. Next, Drag Ritter Lift Tifa, which is a great 2 with 10 power and the skill is auto when placed on rear guard other than by card ability. If you played a normal order this turn, cost Soul Blast 1, look at top 5 cards of your deck, choose up to 1 grade less than or equal to your vanguard from among them and call it to rear guard if it's a unit card. Put it in your hand if it's a normal order and of course shuffle your deck. Similar to the other ones, they can do stuff. In Dragon Empire's case, you got a few decks that can actually use this card. Tamiora is one of them because it has Fox Arts which are still orders. You could technically use this in Eugene because of Dust Harvest and kind of in a way of Gandiva as well. But this is actually pretty decent but there might be better options here. But anyway, second skill, Auto Rearguard, when this card attacks a great or a greater, this unit gets a 5 key power to the end of that battle for each of your opponent's open rearguards in the same column as his unit. Decent number of Dragon Empire's decks do retire, so this is actually not too bad to stack plus extra 10k, but like I said, only like few Dragon Empire's decks can actually use this decently. Finally, to the new Tamiora, will a Wasp Daybreak Tamiora, which is a grade 3 with Dragon Power in the skills. Auto, when placed by riding on top of the original grade 3 Tamiora, search your deck or drop zone for up to one order card that is not Regalia's piece, reveal it and put it to your hand. If you search your deck, shuffle it, and then you activate Persona Ride. Basically, just like the other cross epics right here for the evolutions, or new forms or whatever that they're trying to do. I will have to say this is actually pretty nice that you can search for any order card that is not Regalia's piece. The only thing is, Dragon Empire doesn't exactly have the best order lineup right now, but this can change in the future of course. You of course mainly search for your Fox Art cards, just saying. And this is definitely going to be a cheaper alternative than the promo, I'm just going to say that because this could straight up search for any of the order cards that you wish for. But anyway, second skill, Auto Vanguard. When this card attacks a Vanguard, costs buying the original Grade 3 Tamiyora from your soul, choose a Rememory and Rememory from your soul, and call it to Rear Guard, and they get plus 5 key power into the end of the turn. At the end of the turn, ride the original Grade 3 Tamiyora that you bound for this cost as Rest, and of course, Glitter ability. So basically, it doesn't do much different for the second skill compared to the original Tamiora, but the difference is that you don't cost Counter Blast for it, and the extra 5 key power is still given because the original Tamiora still gives the half persona ride during the beginning of the ride phase. So not much different but searching for the order. But this does combo with the original Tamiora. First off, 
because of the original Tommy Orice giving the 5k power buff for the whole front row, you basically gotta have Persona Ride. Combining this Persona Ride itself, that's a 15k power buff. Second skill, which doesn't cost Counter Blast, mind you, to the original, that's an extra 20k power in total. And keep in mind, the multi-attack is still there. So that isn't exactly too bad. I wish it does a little more than just search for the order card, but this is actually not too bad. So that's it for the new Tamiora along with the new Dragon Empire Order Engine. What do you guys think of them? Dragon Empire Order Engine is just a whatever, but there is some nice cards like the Grey 2 that you could run in some decks if you wish. New Tamiora, I kind of wish it does a little more, but the nice part is searching for any order card. You mainly want to search for your Fox Art of course, but Dragon Empire right now isn't known for the best orders, but there might be some good future support here for that. Other than that, it's basically just a free version of the original Grade 3 Tamiora, basically. Which is actually quite a plus in some cases, because the counter blast can matter. Other than that, that's it for this, and see y'all next time.